You know, Robert, as someone who does have a history degree, not to brag, I'm just saying it, but uh, <laughs> I do enjoy this guy. I do enjoy hearing a good piece of history, especially something that is like hasn't been told before. So I was yeah, just watching that story in awe. Like how Phil just casually throws out the history degree. Oh, I have it right here. So he unrolls it, puts it on the desk. Let me just pull that out of my pocket right well, now. Well, we're going to do a little history today okay. in the forecast when I show the almanacs. We'll look back at uh, the last uh, year in weather uh, for the most part. Now, this week we are tracking some rainfall, unfortunately, but not tomorrow. It's going to be another nice day tomorrow for you to get outside and enjoy it. When I was enjoying my morning coffee this morning, I live along the trail of the two cities in Bentonville. And the amount of people in a 10 minute span I saw walking, jogging, biking was the most I've seen all year. So people are getting out and enjoying this weather and you'll be able to do it tomorrow with a lot of that warm weather. But it won't last because more rainfalls in the forecast, especially between Tuesday afternoon and late Thursday. That's when it could get quite wet and we are worried about flooding yet again. Flash flooding and main stem river flooding on some of our larger uh, bodies of water. Here's the rain chances you see Wednesday and Thursday widespread rainfall and it could come down heavy at times uh, before it finally starts to taper off as we get into very, very early Friday morning. It's also going to be a windy week as well. Some wind driven rains thrown in here uh, for good measure, especially Wednesday and Thursday with those winds gusting up to 25 miles an hour. Uh, River Valley about the same thing, but the winds not as bad, but still it could be blustery at times. Now, Today in Fayetteville, we got up to 71 degrees, well above the average, which is 57. Uh, this day in 1991, we were at 79, flirting with 80. Uh, things are quiet in Fort Smith today, where we were about 15 degrees above average, climbing all the way to 77. But man, 91, a hot day, 84. Uh, right now across northwest Arkansas, we're still in the 60s. Same thing in the River Valley, more 60s than 50s at this hour. We'll see high clouds rolling in here in the overnight hours. And then, uh, like I said, a very nice Monday on tap, but it will we'll get into Tuesday. By lunchtime Tuesday, we start to see some scattered showers. Those will increase in coverage by the time we get to late Tuesday night and into early Wednesday. Then we might get a break a little bit throughout the day Wednesday before Wednesday night and into Thursday. More rainfall gets in here, and that lasts through th the, throughout the day on Thursday. And we could see several inches of rain uh, as well over the next couple of days, which is why we're so worried about the flooding and excessive rainfall that could make the flash flooding uh, even worse. Lows tonight will be in the 50s, a very mild night and a very mild Monday racing back into the 70s and lower 80s. There's a look at the extended forecast. We do have impact days Tuesday afternoon as well as Wednesday and Thursday. We finally start to dry out as we get toward next weekend temperatures uh, cooling off and this is part of a pattern fill the cooler temperatures as we head into the middle part of March. I think St. Patrick's Day may actually be a little bit on the chilly side as well. So don't put away the winter jacket and the shovel just yet because we might need them by the time we get to the first day of spring. We'll see.